Hello everyone. Today I want to show you how to add details on different surfaces like scratches on this metal here in Mixer 2020. I wanted to make this video because it took me a lot of time to understand the settings to achieve this effect and maybe with this video someone will be able to save his time. Mixer is a software from Quixel who are better known for the Megascans texture library. It is a free software that you can download from Quixel website and I will put a link to it in the description below. This video is aimed at intermediate users of Mixer so I won't talk about how to set up a scene in Mixer and what the controls are or how the interface works. So I have a low poly tire model here for which I have already baked the normals from the high poly mesh in Blender and I can quickly show you the high poly model. So here in Blender uh, this is the low poly model and this is the high poly. The high poly has about 20,000 polygons and the low poly only has about 1000 polygons. But with baking you can see that you can get really good details while keeping everything real time. And with a tool like Mixer you can quickly add more detail to the model by modifying its textures. This detail can be more surface details like mud or scratches to the surface and it still keeps it real time and then these textures can be used with the model in a real time environment like a game engine. So enough of the introduction and let's start. First I want to turn off these scratches and then I will show you how to add them. So add a new solid layer on the top and turn off albedo, metalness, roughness and occlusion and we only need displacement and normals uh, for the scratches. Now add a mask stack to the solid layer and add a map to it. Use a custom image and select an image for your scratches. I have already downloaded an image for scratches from textures.com which is a very good resource for these kind of images and you can select it. To view this map directly uh, without shading press 9 and you can see that the scaling is not right so we need to change that first. This can be fixed by modifying the projection for this mask. So go to filters and add a projection filter. Here we can change the repetitions to make the scratches look smaller and I think 4 is or maybe 5 is okay here. So let's go back to the shading viewport by pressing 1 and next I want the scratches to be visible only on the edges of this metal here. I will again go back to the mask view by pressing 9 and I use this a lot because it's easier to see what's happening with your masks really easily in this view. And you can also view it from here. So layer mask and this PBR metalness is your shading and layer mask is where you see the result of your mask stack. Now we will add a new mask in the mask stack and I want to add curvature. This curvature mag was also baked from the high poly in Blender. And you can see that you can use this to really highlight the edges and you can use the levels here to really get to the parts that you want to apply your scratches to and now I will change the blending mode from normal to multiply and now the scratches are only getting applied uh, at the edges of the metal so let's go back to shading by pressing 1 and right now we can't see any effect of these scratches we, because we need to first change the blending options for this layer so that the scratches are actually visible on the layer. First I want to change the blend method from opacity mask to from above. Then let's decrease the wrap to underlying so that the scratches are really visible and then increase the threshold and now you can see the scratches are visible now. So this threshold slider will actually control how deep are the scratches. That's it for this topic. I hope this video was helpful. If you have any comments, please write them below. And until next time, goodbye.